Hi, and welcome to our third lesson in the Worship Guitar Crash Course. Today we're going to talk about putting our chords together. We've already learned five different chords, but how do you put those chords together to make a song and make something that makes sense? Once you learn these chords and these patterns, then you'll be able to play a wide variety of songs that you can find the chords for on the internet or if your worship team has a chord chart or something like that. And so right now we're sticking in the key of G, but we're going to talk about numbers that are associated with those tones. And so in the key of G, in a musical scale, you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it starts over again with A. And so when you count uh, what key you're in, then um, you just go up to those letters until you get to G, and you start over again. So in the key of G, we have G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. Now, the reason I counted those is because you'll hear me refer to things as like one, four, five chords. And so the reason that is, is because in the key of G, you just count. You give you the same numbers as you count the scale tones up. So G, A, B, C, D. And so a one chord is G, a four chord is C, and a five chord is D. So for this first pattern, all we're going to play is a one, four, five, four, one, or G, C, D, C, G. So we're going to play eight downstrokes on each chord. And always keep this moving down. Even if you're having trouble getting to the next chord, only do eight strokes and then try to get to the chord, but keep this going. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 So, now we're going to add one chord. We're going to add the E minor, which we learned in the first lesson. That is six. E minor 6. Remember G, A, B, C, D, E. And so we're going to learn um, a pattern 1, 6, 4, 5. And uh, this is just another pattern to practice that's commonly used in worship tunes and such. Thanks for listening to the Worship Guitar Crash Course. We'll see you next week.